The most powerful and the most dangerous is called Le Neuf Sur. There was a, uh, their name was on the shield here, but I wrote about it and I sent it to a lot of people and they took it out. You see, Logen, it means lodges. This is in Tolikoven near Bern. The Druids, this lodge, Amorg, and here it was written. I still got a picture where it's written on it. They gave the Statue of Liberty to um, the United States. They, they, uh, so they are ruling the United States as well. They spent so much money, you know, to have it built in France and to have it sent over. And of course, the Statue of Liberty is ISIS. No doubt, eh? And they put a big antenna here for cell phones, you know? And of course, they don't give a damn if the children next door if they can still sleep in the night, and of course they can't. And there, and there, these guys don't give a damn. You see, I asked them for help. And all, there's a, there's a, a letterbox here somewhere. Uh, there it is. And I asked them for help. All four lodges, none of them even replied. This is the kind of people they are, right? Yeah, so this is the Jewish cemetery in Bern, in Wankdorf, you see, so let's go in and see, let's see what surprises there are. So first of all we got the grail, it means our blood is here, our pharaonic blood is here, right, and then as we look, it's full of obelisks. Freemasonry Temple, the Triangle of the Freemasons More obelisks, more, more It's full of it, more This guy, he was a lawyer and a senator Look, Conseil National, senator here in Switzerland and Bern High positions, obelisks, it's full of it Absolutely full of obelisks here. On this one here it says Auf Wiedersehen. See you again. This is a very special one here. Yeah. So again the obelisk is a phallic symbol and as it is carved on top it's a symbol of the circumcision because that comes from the pharaohs, the Jews, the Arabs, the Americans of course they all have it from the pharaohs the, Amer the Americans can be considered as half Muslims now as they are being circumcised 97% of the men this is really a pact with the devil I mean if you do believe in God you should leave the body as he created it and don't mess around with it don't butcher it, eh? There's a Freemason, shake hands. Uh, it's a huge one, like in Washington DC. Absolutely huge. I must have spent a lot of money, just, you know. Freemasonry, Freemason Lodge, the Triangle of the Freemasons, the joining here, from there to there. Mr. Bloch, you know, like Mr. Blocher. He's like the, uh, the Swiss Hitler, Mr. Blocher. There's a pharaoh as well, another obelisk. Behind there is an obelisk. It's full of it. Absolutely full of it. More here. A white one. Nice. So these guys here, they're not some poor sheep shepherds like you know it's being said in the Bible. These are pharaohs. These are pure pharaohs. And the Jews tell us we were 430 years prisoners with the pharaohs. They killed our children under four years. They killed our men. They put them into slavery. So why, for God's sake, they put the symbol of their enemy on top of their graves? They are lying. They're lying. You don't put the symbol of the enemy on top of your grave. These are pharaohs. 
and these people how can they be so you know, a shepherd usually doesn't get so intelligent and doesn't have so much power but these are pharaohs wow it's big loop and more obelisks here and more there and more there pharaonic cemetery but it doesn't mean all the Jews are pharaohs there still are the Hebrew people and the Hebrew the pharaohs also ruling in Israel over the Hebrew people it's my opinion and it was only the Hebrews that got killed you know like like during the Holocaust and the pharaohs did it I mean mr. Hitler his grandfather was a pharaoh a pharaonic Jew his name was Frankenberger and it was supposed to be a Rothschild there are rumors he was a Rothschild and um, yeah the Freemasons and the pharaohs they had the idea to um, uh, to murder all the, the Hebrew people because they were the, f the first victim they were the first victims remember of the pharaohs 430 years prisoners and uh, the Hebrew people actually before they were like an Arab trade tribe the uh, the male the the uh, patriarch he was the the um, the head of the family like like Arabs um, and uh, the pharaonic system traditionally is a, is a female system Cleopatra uh, Cleopatra and they have uh, the, the women have so much power in the antique it was the only civilization where women womanhood and the sisters of Isis had so much power yeah and because there were still a lot of Hebrew people and they had a lot of uh, pharaonic genetics inside of them but they were not initiated so the word danger and they r reproduced so um, so largely you know in, the, in in Poland and in Russia there were millions of them and they formed a danger because they, they had this genetic uh, super superiority uh, but they were not initiated so the pharaohs finally had to do the uh, final solution you know, to get rid of them and uh, the Germans the warriors a stupid warrior who doesn't really think it just takes orders uh, they were just the workers you know like in like in a beehive they were just the workers who did it but it was not the mind they're too stupid that was not the mind get out of here the mind was pure pharaonic Freemasons the Second World War and Hitler they were being financed uh, by America by Henry Ford by the Freemasons hey so again uh, not all the Jews are bad I think uh, I don't think so but uh, unfortunately the uh, the Hebrew people the, the good ones actually they were all murdered by these pharaohs uh, most of them and what was left they went to Israel so I think actually a Zionist is not a bad thing a Zionist is somebody who's fed up with uh, with Europe I mean aren't we all <laughs> and uh, he just wants to live in the Middle East you know next to uh, the Mount Zion I mean there's nothing wrong about that is there uh, but apparently the Arabs they uh, they're not too fond of the uh, of the idea but what is worst we should we should forget the word Zionist we should just think Pharaohs they're the bad ones eh? they're the baddies oh. and the Pharaohs they're ruling over Israel as well over the Hebrew people they're ruling the whole world so I suppose this part of the cemetery is the uh, pharaonic part there are no stones like in Schindler's list you know there's no stones put here maybe that's because they're dead and gone and they're old and uh, the relatives you know there's too old there's nobody the sons and daughters the grandsons they all already disappeared so there's nobody left to put a stone on it but there's place you see there's a small well, maybe this is especially a some place to put a stone on it yeah but anyway there's another part here where there's no obelisk you see that behind here so maybe that's the Hebrew part let's go and have a look you see that's the pharaonic part if we look here 
Maybe we can call this the Hebrew part. Well, there is a little obelisk there, only a little one. Lots of stones here all over. But again, maybe that's only because this is new. Later, this is new. And uh, the sons and daughters are still alive. There are some obelisks there, a little one. I mean, labor costs too much nowadays. Maybe in those times, like behind here, they still had a lot of money to do this. There's another obelisk. Freemasonry, a ball. So we rule the world. The joining here. There's the ball, symbol of the world domination. Definitely Freemasons. So even within the, let's say, the Hebrew part, there still are a lot of pharaohs here, apparently. There's another obelisk there. Yeah. So I don't know. It's probably all mixed, pharaohs and Hebrews. Yeah full of obelisks here. Yeah. Well at least these are no um, no just uh, biblical shepherds or their their offspring. These, these are pharaohs. These are the true pharaohs. And they got all the power. Right, look at it, how big it is. Just look at the size of it. As in Washington DC, eh? They show that in every movie in Washington or in from Hollywood Hollywood which is pharaonic it's the biggest uh, the biggest enterprise in the world the biggest business Hollywood is and they show the uh, the um, uh, the Washington Monument as they call it the big obelisk they show it in every film as a sign as a symbol that means we made the movie we rule what we indoctrinate your children's minds, otherwise we wouldn't have any more police force or soldiers in Iraq or in Afghanistan or in all those other war wars. If we couldn't present it as being so nice with some nice music, when somebody gets a nine mil in front of his, um, between his eyes, in his front, in his head, you see, with some nice music, they show the big warrior, he can finally. Get, get rid of all his aggressions. I mean, this is the thing to do if you want to be a man, you know. But these are only soldiers. There's a difference between a warrior and a soldier. What I'm doing here, that's warrior's business. I don't need a general to take up orders. I can, uh, I can make up my strategy myself, you see. I'm not a soldier. Get out of here. So, uh, mother, mothers, please make more warriors so the pharaohs can, cannot take your children and make soldiers out of them and you'll lose them. See? Oh, here we got the Washington Monument again, <laughs> sort of. So this is the old part of the cemetery. There are three parts apparently. And, uh, oh, they do put stones here, well look at it. There are stones, and they left a space for it to put the stones, as here. This is the old part. And another one is full of it. And actually, I think the Orthodox Jews are probably the priests of Amun from Egypt. But then again, within the Orthodox Jews as well, there are Pharaohs and there are Hebrews. They're not all bad, I don't think so. But the pharaohs are. And the pharaohs are the biggest enemy of the Hebrew people. They always were and they always are. No. Even Hebrew soldiers are being sent to war, even if they don't want to. I remember there were special forces and they were they were just sacrificed in, in some sort of a um, they had to do some uh, with a, in, in a poisonous river. So even the pharaohs that sacrificed Hebrew people in Israel. Uh, so wake up, people! Do please wake up. Uh, there's some more obelisks in the old part here, full of it. Some more needles. 
Yeah. So more needles. Oh, I remember the film about these. Uh, what was it? About the uh, the Jewish mob. A long film. One of them was called Needle Needles. Well, the, here it is, the needle. Hey. Eh? So it was a, a once upon a time in the West or needles. So now we know what a needle is. He was a. Uh, uh, a kosher mos nostra. So this is where the Swiss uh, CIA is. There, there's the entrance. There, they're really bad people. They killed a lot of people uh, by O2T torture. Actually, they murder people here. See the fence there as well. Swiss flag, the Templars flag there. See, very, very dangerous. So this is the famous bear pit here in Bern, where all the tourists go, you see, it's like a castle, but this is not important. What's important is this here, an obelisk. There, this is the joining on top here, the symbol of the world domination. And uh, this is the sun hieroglyphics, the most one of the most important symbols, you see it everywhere. And it's so, um, it's so hidden. It's so hidden. You see it as well on American airplanes, you know, with the star in the middle and the two bars on each side. That's the sun hieroglyphics. And actually, the German army, you have the SS. If you write ISIS in Pharaonic, like in Hebrew or the Arabic, you write only the uh, consonants. So if you write ISIS, you get SS. If you take the symbol of the SS, it's skull and bones. So under the uh, symbol of total um, pharaonic and Freemasonry symbolics, uh, the um, the SS murdered people all over Europe, and they got killed themselves. So SS skull and bones. See, SS is ISIS. Good. Let's go and see further up. So this is the most important symbols. You see it a lot in American movies as well. This one here. Then the joining. Very important. The world domination. Of course the obelisk. And the triangle of the Pharaoh, of the Freemasons. Well you don't see it here. Okay. So this is still in Bern, Altenberg. And here's the river, the Aare next to it. The obelisk with a grain on it. That means our seed is here. Our descendants are here. It's still the same thing. And this is this phallic. It's a symbol of the. Uh, it's also the symbol of their way of warfare. Let's mix first, and uh, then we conquer the people from the inside out, like a virus, like the enemy within. You know, and we have our secret lodges, the Freemasons. Let's take, for instance, like here in Bern or in Switzerland or in Europe, you see a white woman. Well, she's apparently one of the. Uh, one of the uh, witches, the sisters of Isis, and uh, she has a black dude, and the, they're going to have a child, which is uh, it's going, the child is going to be brown, like a uh, the offspring. The uh, here in Switzerland, the father usually never sees his child anymore because he's going to be sent away. He's going to be extradited back to uh, back to Africa. The poor guy. Uh, if it's a lady child, the brown one. She's going to have, she's going to have, um, she's going to look for another black dude at the train station, the railway station or the disco. And um, they're going to have a baby and the baby of the, um, will already be much blacker, much browner. The father is going to be sent away, the child is going to be risen in a black manner, as always. Three generations later, the offspring will be black as a Central African from Congo. But inside is what? Yeah, it's white, of course. And then they're going to put the white nigger, they're going to put him a... Um, uh, he's going to do some, some academic studies, you know, at the university. And uh, then they're going to put him as a president, like uh, the president of Congo, Joseph Kabila. He's a white nigger. And all the black dudes think, oh, he's white. He's uh, one of us. He's a black dude. He's got our color. He speaks like us. But he isn't. And this is how the whiteies, they can rob Africa and they can make wars so the petrol and the diamonds, they all get cheaper. 
and uh, kill everyone. And of course we know now it's not the whites who have the power. They were just the soldiers, Germanic warriors like whom the pharaohs could use so well, you know. So, um, <clears throat> and of course the same system, the same technique or strategy the pharaohs did in Europe as well. Like with the five generations and the, uh, and the mixing. That's why we have the obelisk everywhere. You know, with our seeds here. See? Good. This church too, it's full of obelisks. What's an obelisk doing on a church? Well, that's, it's from the priest of Amun. Amun Ra. Bad ones. So, obelisks on a church. You know, the Vatican. The triangle of the Freemasons. And uh, this bridge was built by Napoleon, who ruled like 20 years in Bern, in the upper class here in Bern, the capital of Switzerland. Uh, it comes from that time, they call it the Bernburger. Yeah, and Napoleon, he loved Egypt, as we know, right? So here we see the joining there, the triangle of the Freemasons. I counted the stones, there are 33. And the top stone is called the keystone. As all the pictures in the newspapers, they're called keystone. You know, very Masonic. They're insiders, like a virus. How do we get them out of here? There we got the uh, sun hieroglyphics, the house next next to the uh, to the bridge. Uh, let's have a closer look at the obelisk. Here's the house. On top of it, now well, let's see it's here. The sun hieroglyphics. It's a real perverted symbol because it's so, so hidden. It's so, so hidden. There again, or oh, there. And on top is the grail. That means our blood is here. We are here. Our grains are here. Our blood is here. So this is the same bridge. And I was here in 2007. And about there underneath, the guy jumped off the bridge smacked the floor and uh, it was such a bang it was like two cars hitting each other amazing and a metallic bang actually uh, and uh, yeah so here's the obelisk left, as, as on the cemetery when somebody died you know yeah. and then I went to this restaurant here which is called um, Altenberg it's Turkish now and exactly there, this last table, there was the, uh, the, uh, the one of the seven presidents of uh, Switzerland. They got seven presidents here. Her name was Doris Leuthardt. And she was sitting just next to the, uh, the sun hieroglyphics here. She knew it. And I asked her, I said, you, your citizens are jumping off the bridge. And I said, well, oh, I'm not interested. This is not my job. You know, very cold. And she was talking with a guy, I think he was from the safe house of the Mossad, which is just next to here, and I'll just read with the, uh, the obelisk on it. This is the safe house here. This is where they, you see the symbol, this is where they come when they... when they want to put out some uh, Arabs in Europe. And this is a, uh, a camera. And it can swing around. Probably will now. Yeah. All right. So there's the bridge with the obelisks. Yeah. And here is the uh, the Mossad safe house. It's just here. Here they just take it easy. A nice tree here. Yeah. Watch some TV. And then they concentrate on putting out some tangos. Arabs. So there's the obelisks. In that street is the safe house and here's the Turkish restaurant. Uh, the hitmen are surely just going to eat here. They've got all the protection of the Swiss state. Oh, yeah. So if you just look around here, you know, you'll find them. Yeah. And then they go and swim in the river, you know. So maybe somebody can do something back. So here we got a very big pharaonic temple. Very big. 
next to the Vatican. Excuse me, I meant to say next to the Embassy of the Vatican in Bern. Yeah. So, here we got the joining. You see? The triangle of the Pharaoh of the Freemasons. There's Isis on top. With breast. Here we got the, um, it's the devil. And this is the all seeing eye. Like on the dollar. In gold. It's so important they put it in gold. Here we got the sun hieroglyphics. It's all there. See, it's all there. And there are two obelisks next, next to it. The world domination. The joining. Again the world domination next to it here. And another obelisk with the world domination. Good. This is uh, yeah. And this is the uh, some old Egyptian pharaonic bird. And there next to it is the garden of the embassy of the Vatican. So let's go and have a look. Here we got the Vatican door. Yeah. With the big temple with the obelisks here. We said Schloss Hindelbank. We can have a look there as well. Uh, that's the embassy. A lot of loads of obelisks. Yachim and Boaz. So there's a quick look of the garden of the uh, the embassy of the Vatican. Now uh, there it is. You see the two keys of the Vatican. So here are the obelisks here. Now what's an obelisk doing here? Well, it's the priest of Amun, Amun Ra. This is Egypt. And these priests of Amun, they rape our children. And the Pope is the head of a child molester circle. A pedophile organization, he's the head of it. And it's all Egypt here. This is all Egypt, even the joining there behind it. There's the joining. Like in a Freemasonry temple, you see? Alright, we better go because before the Inquisition and the cops come. They're usually sitting in their house there, with a machine pistol. And this is where the... Uh, and that's... Oh, okay, that's the Swedish embassy. There, at the embassy there's the, uh, the grail of Pharaonic. That's our cedars here. And again some obelisks with the world domination. And that's the flag of Canada. Same thing, flag of Canada. You see? Two obelisks. Wow, who's ruling here, eh? <laughs> that's Belgium. There we got the joining all over. The top as well, the triangle of the Freemasons. And this means our seat. Well, through the tram you can see where the uh, where the bars, where the prison is, is the Israeli embassy. I'm not going to get near her because you, cops and police are going to be crawling over here. This is where the temple. Oh, the Vatican has a lot of dough. Yeah, they have a lot of money and power. This is their garden. Jesus, it's big, eh? It's big. It's a castle. Yeah. So, I mean, criminals go well, eh? And child molesting pays off. Yeah, it's the backside of the Canadian Embassy. Look at it. All the cars and all these symbols here, all pharaonic stuff here. That's the, 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 uh, the joining, Freemasons. On top here is the, uh, the triangle of the Freemasons. And look at this here. And look at the big garden. I mean, it's all descendants of the pharaohs and key positions all over. They have a good life. See? And the Canadians are just there for sweating. You know, waging war in Iraq or Afghanistan. Fuck man. Uh, the backside of the, uh, the Belgium embassy. The Grail, two times. Our descendants are here. 
All right. The statue here is Lady Justice of, uh, of uh, Rome. The same lady was in Greece and her name was uh, Temis, Themis. And before she was in Egypt, in ancient Egypt, with the scales and the sword, the same, exactly the same thing. And her name was Ma'at. And the name Magistrate is coming from Ma'at, Ma, Me, Gistru, Eight. Ma'at. The beginning and the end is Ma'at of Magistrate. Uh, so it's all the same thing, it's all Egypt. Blindfolded. Oh, we can see that. Huh? And here it says it's not the real one anymore. The independence. Um, here it says it was destroyed a couple of times by the independence movement of the uh, Bellier in the, uh, in the Jura. Wow. In fact, connected to the uh, some other liberation movements of the Basque and the uh, the Irish. So there was Ma'at, and here's another sort of temple. It's really full of it here, and there's a sun hieroglyphics. That's mean buy your stuff here. We're also pharaonic, and. Uh, make a good business like together they even carved it in wood so in front of this uh, very old obelisk with a grain on it with the uh, joining uh, Mr. Blocher was living here Mr. Blocher he was uh, one of the seven Swiss presidents a couple of years ago and he uh, has to be considered as uh, the Swiss uh, Mr. Adolf Hitler uh, He's trying to put uh, the Swiss against the foreigners in a sort of a uh, hatred thing to put them up against each other. He doesn't really hate foreigners because most of his workers in his big factory are foreigners. He just wants to divide and rule. So here on the other side is the, uh, the big Freemasonry lodge where he went in all the time, you see? The lodge. So let's go and have a look. So and this is where he went eating all the time. You see the Templars Cross. Union, you see Union? Yeah, oh we know that guy. Hey mate. Yeah, so it says restaurant. Yeah. So and actually uh, these guys here, they lent Mr. Blocher all the money so he could buy his first big factory, the M's. And he could pay it back without any interest. Interest, on one condition, he should uh, go into the uh, on the on the highest level of Swiss politics and represent the Freemasons there. So this guy is a traitor. Yeah. Now you even got a uh, a Peace Nobel Prize. This guy, uh, Freemason, it's unbelievable. So this is one Mr. Blocher's lodge in Bern is on the other side. Well, what more to say? What more to say? And there's the church with the obelisks. Switzerland is where the money is. And America is where the armies are. Here's again this uh, Napoleon's Bridge in Bern. Here's the all-seeing eye, the triangle of the, of the Freemasons. And the all-seeing eye. As on the dollar. Obelisks on top. One, two. And this is everywhere. Isis. Isis. Sun hieroglyphics. Okay. In Bern. This is the main police station in the capital of Switzerland, Bern. You see, police. Two times a grail, one time a year. But this is where we came from, four. This is the, uh, the, the Freemasonry Triangle, and in the middle is the all-seeing eye, like on the dollar. And the chain has exactly 33 pieces, as are 33 degrees with the Freemasons. That's the world domination. So who's ruling here? The Swiss? The Europeans? No. The Swiss are only in people that run 400% with the system. 
and betray their neighbor. So there it is again, the all seeing eye. You see, it's an eye. There's under dollar, 33 pieces. Uh, it's clear. This was only in people that hate foreigners, they hate about everybody. That's why the, the, the pharaohs like them so much, because that's their system, divide and rule. So who's that? Isis. So this is again Isis all over. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Uh, the sun hieroglyphics, nice. Or like on the American airplanes with the star in the middle. Yeah. So this is why. So this is the Justice Department in Bern with ISIS two times, the Freemasonry Triangle, and two obelisks. There's one, and here's the other one. So who's ruling here? The Europeans? No. It was like a temple. Amtals. And there's everywhere the Freemasonry Triangle. No. With underneath the sun hieroglyphics in another form. It's not round here. But later on it gets round. Never mind. So here they murder people. Like last year in 2010, they murdered Wolfgang Umfogel. He was an Austrian guy who wanted to sell uh, CDs with information about uh, um, uh, very rich, uh, like uh, Germans mostly, who uh, uh, he was a hero, you know, he wanted to uh, do something against tax evasion because tax evasion makes rich richer and poor poorer. The rich people they all come in Switzerland, you know, they, they rent a place, they don't even live there, and they um, so they don't pay any more taxes, they pay very low taxes. So at home they don't pay any more taxes and um, so the taxes have to be paid back home and they're all going to be on the uh, on the backs of poor people and poor poor people are getting poorer and rich people are getting richer is how it works and uh, Wolfgang Umfogel he wanted to do something against that and uh, they uh, arrested him and in two weeks time only they didn't say anybody who was here, not his government, the Austrian government, not the embassy, not his parents. And they mur he was suicided in here within two weeks only. And the type of torture, what happens here is called O2T, O2 for oxygen and T for torture. And they put people in cells where there's not enough oxygen. And because of the lack of oxygen, there will be a hypoxy, which is a lack of oxygen in the human tissue. So the uh, subject is being tortured in every cell of his body, you see. And uh, because of that there will be a glycolysis, which, will, which is the, uh, the organism starts burning up its own sugars. And um, because of that there will be uh, lactic acids will be pro produced. And people get very depressive. And this is the same thing happening with the famous waterboarding. A guy get dipped under water or with a piece of uh, tissue on his head and when he comes out of the water he's gasping for air and he's going like <gasps> he never gets enough oxygen in his uh, organism to nourish the blood with so he's being tortured in every cell of his body and it is a human fact it is a medical fact where when a human being breathes in it's nine it's uh, uh, 80 percent of the oxygen that goes to the head first so if there's not enough oxygen you get serious problems in the head first, you know, that's where the information is. So this is why O2T is so nice, the CIA and the MI6 and all the lot, they think it's so nice. And this is why the geezers in uh, Guantanamo and the orange suits, they all have this mask on their noses. And we all ask ourselves, why do they have these masks? What for? Are they working on something, you know? No. Well, like this, they're being tortured in front of the cameras. They can never get enough oxygen to nourish the blood with. And this is happening here as well. And this is how people are being tortured. Muslim people in, uh, in Guantanamo and by the Yanks. And, uh, well, of course, Switzerland and, and America. Well, they all, these two countries have very much in common that they are completely ruled by the pharaohs. Oh, really completely. 
And this is how they work together. Switzerland has the money, the banks, it's safe, and we are also oh neutral, they say. <laughs> and the Americans, they kill people all over. They have the armies. Yeah. But the rich Americans, they all put their money in Switzerland. I bet you do. I bet they do. All rich people never paid any taxes, you know. I mean, look at the uh, nobility, the uh, the upper class, and the uh, the nobles. You know, they took the taxes. They never paid any taxes. You think Prince Charles ever paid, or his family, the Windsors, did they pay any taxes? No, they take taxes. They have a gay life. So this is the this is the uh, Holy Ghost Church in front of the Bahnhof, the train station in Bern. You got the triangle of the Freemasons. Again there, the grail, it means our blood is here, even the joining on top of it. And the most important, there are four big obelisks. There's one, there's one, there's one behind, and there's one here. So what's an obelisk doing on that church? Now that's the priest of Amun. All religions, they're all coming from Egypt anyway. The, uh, the Muslims even say Egypt is the mother of Islam. It's all the same thing. They got uh, uh, Jewish actors in them, like Moses and Abraham, the Bible and the Quran. It's all the same thing. Only the Muslims are circumcised as the, uh, as the pharaohs are. But of course the Americans are all circumcised uh, as well as well. They are all, they're almost true pharaohs. And if you see the army, their armies, their Roman armies, they all got they got no hair, they're all bald, cut, cut on the skin, like pharaohs are, and they're all circumcised. There's a big pharaonic army they have in Iraq and in uh, uh, everywhere in the world. So here we are in Hindelbank next to Bern. This is the devil with his horns. There is an obelisk here with a grain on it. And the obelisk stands for the god Osiris and the water for the goddess Isis. And actually in Switzerland they have uh, so there are many 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 fathers who can't see their sons. And this is also the pharaonic uh, idea of uh, Isis and the sisters of Isis because Isis she had a, a, a her man her husband was Osiris and they had a child was Horus and then she played the man against each other out and Seth a brother of Osiris well not a brother in the in the, in the fleshly sense but a brother a brother like man should be brothers so she she played man out against each other and she hid Horus, the child, uh, at the river Nile. And she raised the child herself. So this is how the Isis and the sisters of Isis, they couldn't raise man new and again from scratch. By the way, after the uh, image, as the, uh, the witches and sisters of Isis and the witches of Europe and America, wanted to make a man so a uh, man after God's creation was created new by the European witches and this is what we see now they're just garden gnomes they say okay you go now and we'll feed you some Hollywood indoctrination and you go now and kill some people in Iraq or in Afghanistan these guys are no man anymore all their fathers and all their ancestors, they, were, they died in all these wars, the First World War, the Second World War. Uh, they, never, uh, they never had their fathers actually who could tell them, okay, son, life is like this and like this. And uh, there was a cut in the middle. And um, this is the idea of, uh, like we can say, the devil or the or the shaitan or the dajjal or whatever it's very bad and switzerland is the biggest base of the sisters of isis that's why we see on churches a lot we see i 
HS, which means Isis, Horus, and Set, Seth. So this is an ideology. See? Oh, uh, what kind of a forest is this? Oh, we didn't come for that. We came for this. No command. No commentary. Excuse me. I'm speaking French too long. You see, this is almost like the layers or the foundations of a pyramid here. And this is the mayor's office of Hindelbaum. Yeah. And there it is, the obelisk. And the Freemasonry triangle. Let's have a closer look. Oh, well, there's the obelisk with a little pyramid on here. See, it's not enough and the triangle so they're three big pharaonic symbols on a key position and there's the water so it says in the bible that the the, uh, the beast the revelations of john the beast had seven heads and ten horns well let me tell you this switzerland has seven presidents and they divide ten ministries ministries among each other you see and they financed every war and those Swiss you still got the Swiss God the Pope's God and the sisters of Isis and those Swiss they wrote the Malias Malificar and they, they burned women all over Europe and those Swiss mercenaries terrorizing the whole of Europe and the Ku Klux Klan you know the Ku Klux Klan is on a red underground with a white cross in there yeah so this is the center of evil Switzerland yeah that proves and the beast had seven heads and ten horns they have seven presidents who divide ten ministries and another one there's a very big concentration of pharaohs here in Hindelbank Bern Switzerland and another one next to the uh, Vichy family that rules the whole the whole town actually and this one here is of uh, 1780 you see with the Templar's horse there was somebody sitting on top but they took it away it probably two persons yeah. Everywhere in this country, everywhere. Now this all here, this is the female prison of uh, Hindelbank. There's the entrance there, barbed wire, the whole lot. And this is the old castle. There they have the uh, the offices probably. You see the sun hieroglyphics on the wooden panels next to the windows. The triangle, the Templar's cross on it. I'm not going nearer because you got all sort of police crawling on you, you know, if you go nearer. So, yeah, talking about, well, it's full of uh, foreign women, a lot of South Americans. This is the Swiss female prison. Yeah. Well, Swiss banksters. Don't come in here, or Swiss criminals, they stay outside. And then here on the other side, this is the, uh, the mountains behind there. It's called the Jura. And Jura, like in Jurassic Park, Jura is an old Celtic word and it means the Black Forest. And it goes into the Black Forest all the way north there to, into Germany. Jus is the word for forest, like in old French, la joue, and ra, it means uh, black. And they found a lot of uh, fossils actually here, and that's why they called the, uh, the period, the uh, prehistoric period, they call it uh, Jurassic period. And the name Jurassic Park of the film, the Spielberg film. Well, it's all called after this mountain right here. In Scotland too, they have the uh, the Isle of uh, Jura. It's all Celtic, means Black Forest. So this is the famous Swiss 
Emmental, where they where the chase is from. Well, it's just a little part of it, of course. And this is the big prison, a high security prison in a castle again. Yeah. This part you never get out anymore. There's the. Uh, if you've got a prison sentence here more than five years, they can put you in here for life. And it's the uh, psychiatrist which will. Uh, on whom it will depend if you get out or not. And this is the, uh, the other part of the prison. They put me in that cell there. I was in here. They put me almost a year in prisons here because I opened up my mouth. Because I'm filming. I'm not a criminal. My whole life I kept away of criminals and crime. I never did anything wrong. And they put me in here. This was a Freemasonry judge. His name is Vicari. Jean-Pierre Vicari from Bern. He's part of the Freemasonry Lodge. Le Neuf Sir, most dangerous in the world. And uh, it's a weird name, Vicari. I mean, what does it mean? Well, the name Vicari is not Swiss, it's not German, it's not French, it's not even Italian. It's from the Vicari Forane. They were the judges in the Middle Ages that gave the order to burn the women and to torture them from the Inquisition. So this guy is still around and he's still doing the same job in the same line. They never change. The Vicari Foranei. Still the same. And they... They're the ones that won. So they're still around, you see. And all the other people died around and he's still doing these miserable things he's doing, this Vicari. Hundreds of years, the descendants of the Vicari Foranai. And he's still there. This house here, they really wanted to make sure everybody understood it. The triangle of the Freemasons, this is an Oberberg in Canton Bern. You see, on this side they don't have it. Yeah? It's just a symbol. The sun hieroglyphics, it's all over. There and there. And there. And again. You see in the middle they have the triangle. On the other side they don't have it. So it's not for construction. Uh, constructive uh, interest or something. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you about the, uh, the Ku Klux Klan. They're also from Switzerland. I mean, these, we've all seen the, uh, the black sheep. Uh, pictures it was all over the world they have three white sheep kicking a black one you know the uh, the, the drawing of it uh, these people have a lot of hatred and when they emigrated to the United States they formed the Ku Klux Klan and the Swiss they have officially in the Parliament the KKK like the French have Liberté Fraternité Égalité the the Swiss they have a the KKK, that means consens, concordance, compromis, that makes KKK. And the symbol of the Ku Klux Klan is a red underground with a, uh, with a white cross in it. And the... Uh, so what does it mean, the Ku Klux Klan? Ku is from the German, it's not English and it's not Latin either. Ku is from the German word Ku, a cow, they took the H away. Klan, uh, Klux is from the German word Glocke or the, uh, the meaning the bells they just anglified it so you know and uh, so it matches into KKK as well and the clan yeah we understand it it's a tribe so what is this cowbells tribe well you know in Switzerland every cow has a bell around her neck which is really Machiavellic and total control the farmer knows at any moment where's my damn cow and what is she doing in other words where's the damn nigger and what's she doing excuse me my lingo because I don't think like this um, yeah, so they definitely are from Switzerland. They have a long tradition of hating people. They hate the Europeans, they hate everybody. And they're so smart with their banking system and everything. And um, yeah, well, most Swiss and Germans who emigrated to the US, they went to the southern states. That's why the Americas, they had a civil war. <laughs> like the First World War and the Second World War. The English with the Germans, you know, it's all the same thing. 
and the Swiss they have more power in the, in the US than the other way around and uh, look at the American Legion as well you know they have the the Templars cross in it as well uh, all right oh, well look at it the pyramid and the Sun hieroglyphics Schindler it's in all the uh, the enterprises they show whether they, uh, if they're fair or not